It was an order to leave that stretched from Batemans Bay on the New South Wales south coast to the Victorian border. We want to go, like we've been told to leave, but we can't leave if we don't have fuel. Getting petrol or diesel proved a challenge for thousands, stranded since before New Year's Eve. They queued overnight and for hours today. We're trying to get my son and daughter-in-law back to Canberra. Yeah, two days. I've been stuck in Browley. Just thought we'd better get a bit of fuel while we can. A precious resource in an emergency where power is still out in much of the region. We've basically evacuated the whole park, yep. as I advised earlier. Yes, yeah. The others, uh, some that haven't got anywhere to go, we've told them probably the Oval at the evacuation is Brilliant. the safest place. The Rural Fire Service's priority is to evacuate tens of thousands of holiday makers before Saturday's forecast treacherous conditions. We are expecting to once again see extreme fire danger through this area of the south coast, um, but look, it's, it's more towards that top end of that, that extreme fire danger, so we are expecting conditions that obviously be worse than we actually saw on um, New Year's Eve. A week-long state of emergency kicks in from tomorrow. I think the big thing that we've got underway at the moment is it's, it's the largest mass relocation of people out of the region that we've ever seen. From tomorrow, they will be subject to forced evacuations, road closures, road openings, and anything else uh, we need to do as a state to keep our residents safe and to keep property safe. Okay, Mum, With the Princess this? Highway reopened, Ros Smith was taking the opportunity of getting her elderly parents to a safer place. I hope we've got a house when we get home. You'll be right, Mummy. Come on. I just want to get them somewhere where they can be comfortable and close to a hospital. Susan Baldwin and her family lost everything in the fires and are now staying in a local hotel. There's nothing left. The house is just a shell, the shed's just a big, looks like a big tin can just sitting there. Here people are on edge. This is the fifth call out in five weeks and two in the last two days. Get out, it's serious damage and you can see the flames coming. Most holiday makers here have heeded the warnings, having seen firsthand the devastation of the New Year's Eve fires. The RFS says those leaving it to the last minute risk being trapped for another week or worse. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Batemans Bay.